a five-step guide to quitting the birth control pill. No matter how confident you are about switching to a new birth control method, going off the pill can feel as daunting as breaking up with someone. Especially since nixing your contraceptive douzure often means losing a ton of perks, like lighter periods, barely their cramps, and a complexion that looks like it's been photoshopped. What a woman experiences once she goes off the pill varies tremendously, says Sarah Twigood, MD, Assistant Professor of Clinical Obstetrics and Gynecology at the Keck School of Medicine in California. It depends on how long she's been on the pill and the reasons why she went on it to begin with. Luckily, if you decide it's time to quit your BC, there are steps you can take to make the transition as drama-free as possible. Step 1. Check in with your doc. Ideally, your post-pill journey should start with a quick visit to your doc, especially if you're concerned about side effects or need an alternate form of contraception, says Twigood. If you went on the pill strictly to prevent pregnancy and your periods weren't very bad, then you probably won't notice many changes, says Kelly M. Casper, MD, Objin at Indiana University Health. But if your normal cycle consisted of your ovaries terrorizing your body or dropping in whenever it felt like it, do as the Girl Scouts do and be prepared. Step 2, Get Ready If your pre-pill visits from Ant Flow hurt like ABTCH, make sure you've got ibuprofen, heating packs, and plenty of relaxation techniques handy, suggests Thwigood. Having an app or calendar ready to track symptoms and timing of your menstrual cycle may also help women who previously had irregular periods or unpleasant PMS symptoms, she says. And if you started the pill for dermatologic reasons, make sure that you have a good skin care regimen in place to help decrease any flare-ups, says Casper. Step 3, Actually Go Off The Pill The process of going off the pill itself is pretty self-explanatory, just stop taking them preferably after finishing the pill pack you're currently on, says Sherry Ross, MD, Objin at Providence St. John's Health Center in California. Stopping mid-pack can cause irregular bleeding, disrupting the happy rhythm the pill brings to your menstrual cycle. Step 4. Let your body do its thing. For some women, the adjustment period after going off the pill can be a straight-up roller coaster ride easier periods, painful cramps, mood swings and acne fit for a high school yearbook picture, says Twigood. On the flip side, if you experience breast tenderness, headaches, nausea, or breakthrough bleeding while on the pill, these effects should disappear pretty rapidly once you've stopped taking them. Phew! Your normal cycle will typically return within one or two months of going off the pill. If you're TTC, many experts say you can pregnant immediately once you stop. Step 5. Keep an eye on things. After you're off the pill, you should wait two or three months to see what happens with your menstrual cycle, says Ross. By this point, your body should be back to its factory settings. But if you hit the three-month mark and you still don't get a regular period, check in with your healthcare provider to make sure your hormones are functioning normally. The same goes for irregular or frequent bleeding say, Soaking a pad or tampon every hour or pain that can't be controlled by OTC meds, says Casper. If something feels off, always go with your gut. 